A prevailing doctrine that continues to gain followers despite the apparent contradiction to scripture is that of the prosperity gospel, which is in part due to entire generations growing up without caring for or reading the Bible, i.e. authorized version. The message, although the worst kinds of heresies tend to follow due to the disregard of scriptures, is rather simple. God does not want you to be poor. He wants you to be wealthy and successful with a can-do attitude that also wants you to live your best life now, doing what you want to do. Some of the most well-known prosperity preachers consist of Joel Osteen, Kenneth Copeland, Joyce Meyer, Jesse DePlantas, Creflo Dollar, ironic name, and so many more. These false preachers are sending thousands to hell because they have never actually taught anything resembling the gospel according to the Bible. Although there are many passages that we can turn to that denounce this deception, let's turn to a few that make it explicitly clear that this is not what the Bible teaches. Let's first look to the parable of the sower told by Christ in relation to seeking material wealth over the word of God. Mark 4 verses 18 to 19 And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things entering in, choke the word, and becometh unfruitful. People who get caught up in the riches and vanity of this world tend to have no biblical discernment. They don't tend to read the Bible in of itself, nor about the sacrifices a Christian should make in this world for the glory of God by doing what Jesus said and taking up their cross and following him, which we should all be cautious of. Romans 12 verse 1 tells us to present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service showing that the price that God paid for us is so great that it is our reasonable service to give up everything for him. Let's turn to another passage. Matthew 6 verses 24 to 25. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Does God provide? Yes, he does. But if God is not your master, then you are being ruled by something else. There are so many cases, both in scripture and in history, of those either losing their jobs or being killed in the name of teaching others about Christ. If you get fired or lose income for sharing the truth about Christ and his word, as it would more than likely do, that's persecution for righteousness sake, which doesn't often bring earthly prosperity, but heavenly. Let's read one more passage. 1 Timothy 6 verses 7 to 10. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. The love of money, not money itself, is the root of all evil. To strive after money will cause suffering, and to have a ministry that is entirely based on money shows a ministry completely void of biblical understanding. God punishes and rewards those who live against or for his righteousness and in the end will reward those according to their works. 
Stop listening to the false teachings of the prosperity gospel and learn about the true gospel from the Bible today.